Shout out to the K&J fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're back, you guys, for another muffin. Woo! But not just any muffin. What? You guys, today we're doing a homemade tri-tip and scallops and green beans mukbang. Ooh. All low carb. Woo yes, woo. that's how we rock. That's how we do it. That's how we rock and roll. Okay, I mean, okay. Okay, I'm starving. <laughs> that's all good. And I'm just like delirious. Fresh off my live right now. Yeah, we are fresh off the live. And I was on one. I'm alive. It was a lot of fun. Let's thumbnail and get it. All right, let's do it and we'll get it going. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to just lift it a little bit. Oh, good idea. Okay. One. One, two, two three. three. Okay. All right, one of those will work. Let's do it. Hopefully. All right, cool. Okay. Um, it's no. a little medium well in the front, as you guys can see. Well done in the back, back here. It's a little medium in the front. Oh, yeah. sorry. I can take the front piece. I kind of um, want the medium. Oh, you want the medium? Yeah. Okay. Can I do the medium? I'll take the back. I like it a little bit. I don't know how to grab it, though. Oops. Oh. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Okay, that was... Is this it? Yep, that's oh, it. Oh, it's a thick... Yes, it is. It's a thick pace. Yes, it is. It's thick. Okay, there we go. All oh, right. Look at this. Woo! You guys, we got this from... Um, thick, thick. Do you want some of this? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Scallops. Some scallops. <laughs> Wish we could have done potatoes, you guys, but, you know, we, we got to keep it low carb, so unfortunately we'll have to pass until next time. Did you want another scallop? No, three's fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. You want some green beans? I'm um, sure. Give me some green beans. All right, there, one of these days, you guys, we are going to have some serving uh, <laughs> serving silverware. We are. Make it a little and easier And we're doing for a us. new setup next by next month. Yes. By this month at the end. Yes. We'll have a new setup where you can watch us eat off of our plates yes. and see the food in front of you. It's going to be so and much just, easier. Yeah, stick with us for like a few more weeks on that. Absolutely. We, we um, ordered it from Amazon, but because it's not an essential item, it's not coming right away. It's taking a little longer, obviously, so, from this time period. Tiffany, I got your ranch girl. Oh yeah. Um by the way, uh have had people mentioned that before? What? Uh, more multiple people mentioning the setup more and more? No, not really. Oh, I just okay, good. a few yeah, people. Yeah. You know, like I like to watch people eat off the plate. I agree. I definitely um, agree. So it's definitely uh been a struggle for us. You're right. We had the we had the choice. It's either presentation or eat off the plate. So we chose presentation. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> As some creamy jalapeno like. sauce from Taco Bell. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, uh, you guys, we had a live just recently. We just wrapped it up right now. It was really fun. Um, we uh, actually gave away, we gave away 100 bucks. Yes, we did. Um, to the first three winners and stuff. We did tri um, trivia on our relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you missed it, so sorry about that. But uh, we'll do more of these uh, in the future. But it's a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Mm. How was it? Mm. Ooh, that is good. Mm. What do you think? It's good. Mm. It's cool. You um. like it medium like that? Mm-hmm. Good. Man, we had the hardest time with this thing. <laughs> I'm cooking this bad boy. This thing gave us no breaks. Well, it's hard because, like, yeah, it cooks on the outside really easily. Inside takes longer. And we don't like it like really raw. Mm, mm, mm. So, mm -mm. Mm. so it took a little, a little extra time. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to do this during the live, but it didn't work out. I'm not normally a steak girl at all, mm -hmm. but it's good. It is right. Mm -hmm. no, I feel very, very um, carnivore. I know. Well, this is um, tri tip. Yep. So we got this. Is that steak? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And we got this from, uh, which is, but it's so, I, I don't know, tri-tip just tastes better. Yeah. You know? My dad barbecues it. Mmm. Mmm. That's the way it goes. Mmm. Oh. It's way more tender when it's pinker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. A little chewier when it's well done. Mm-hmm. We got some, um, Snapple Diet Tea. Diet Peach. Mmm. Diet Peach Tea. I knew tea. I was missing something. Mm-hmm. Diet peach tea. Mm, the scallops. I know. They're pretty mm, good, huh? Yes. So with the scallops. <laughs> I hit you. It's all good. Bye -bye. I forgive you. No, it's all right. <laughs> with the scallops, you guys, we mm -hmm. did, um, let's see, I put lemon, 
butter, and salt in it. Mm. Um, it has a little bit of flavor. Can you taste it? Mm-hmm. It's very I feel good. I like I made it taste, yeah, flavored, flavored it up really well. I wonder if garlic would have been good. I forgot garlic. Oh, would you have put it in? Oh, no, I did put garlic in there. Oh, I did? I did, yeah. I was wondering, I'm like, wait, no, I didn't. I forgot garlic. I thought, would you have put it in? I was supposed to. Oh, were you supposed to? Yeah, I followed it. (laughs) There's a recipe that said put garlic in as well. I was just thinking, like, I wouldn't be good. It's still delicious. Yeah. Mm. So worked out. You got the essentials. Butter. Oops. This came out really good, Butter and salt. Yeah, that's right. I am so hungry. Wow. This is really good. We were going to get Wingstop. I'm kind of sad we didn't. I know. But, honestly, this is really, for being, like, taking a little long to cook and stuff, mm-hmm. it's really good. Yeah, it's it really, very really flavorful. We got this all from Costco. Mm-hmm. Mm. Except for the scallops. The scallops we got from Safeway. Mm-hmm. So, what happened... We weren't actually supposed to get this steak. They were supposed to give us eggs and something else, like one or two other things. But they didn't have any of them because this was during the time where, you know, this whole thing was starting in California. So everyone was like buying up stuff. So there was like no eggs and a few other things that were out of. (laughs) So instead they gave us some steak instead. So I'll take that as a win. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. So hungry. Oh. No. <laughs> the veggies came out pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. Ooh. I was veggies hungry. Veggies came out good, yeah. Yeah, no, me too. Mm. Me too. Um. So what else is good? Oh, you guys. We finished Ozark. Mm-hmm. Oh, a couple things. Before I say Ozark. I want to apologize to a few people that asked, um, or maybe they didn't realize yet. Hopefully you watched this video. Wind River, which I recommended, not is fun. not on Netflix. <laughs> it was mm-hmm. on Netflix. Mm-hmm. I don't know when it went left, but it's it's no longer there. That's in the land. So, ooh, excuse me. It was brought to my attention by a couple people that were like, hey, where is it? <laughs> so... Sorry, guys. But it wasn't a current list, I guess. Wind River is on Amazon Prime if you have it, mm-hmm. but it's for rent for like three ninety nine. That's right. So you can watch it there. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I like uh, I like Prime a lot. Mm-hmm. They have a lot of good stuff too. We'll do another video on our top five for Prime. We'll do or top few for Prime. We'll do Hulu too, maybe. What do you think? We'll yeah. do Hulu as well. We're not huge Hulu buffs, but we can try. That's true. No, there's a few shows on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do have to say, Ozark. Oh, you guys. Mm. Okay. I don't know if everyone's caught all of Ozark. Like, the first two seasons. Like, it's on the third season right now. The first two were good. They were mm-hmm. very good. They were well done. But this third season... Man, the they first sleeping on it. Yeah, wake up. Mm-hmm. We're the best up. season ever. No, of that show for sure. I mm-hmm. mean, mm-hmm. it's like Breaking Bad status mm-hmm. for sure. It's getting up there. Mm-hmm. If you like Breaking Bad, you'll actually really enjoy this one a lot. This is what I don't like about steak. Like sometimes you have to chew it for like ten minutes. <laughs> Am I tripping? No, you're right. Right? Like 10 minutes. Like to get little pieces off at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to spread it. I don't like it. Oh, do, do what you got to do. Yeah. Like, I like the taste, but not this piece, you know? Got Sorry, guys. It. Yeah. Well, in the meantime. That's one thing I don't like about steak is when it, like, it's too chewy. Yeah. Some pieces, some bites are. I just swallow it. Let my stomach do the work. <laughs> <laughs> I took a big bite. I don't like my stomach has acid. It can digest it. <laughs> um, Let it do the dissolving. <laughs> What's it gonna say? Uh, something about Ozark. Oh yeah, so good. Yeah. Please watch it. One hundred percent. We are starting Tiger King tonight. Yes. Please don't spoil it. Please don't, because if we don't watch it, it or finish it yet, don't say anything, please, because this is gonna be posting. 
<laughs> when we might be in the middle of watching it. <laughs> yeah, we have seen so many memes on it, on it. We try to scroll through and not read them because we don't know the story. We don't want anything to be Spoiled, given away. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't know what happens. We don't know what it's about. We don't know who the guy is. Mm-hmm. We don't know anything. Mm-hmm. We just see that he's a guy and there's tigers next to him. <laughs> That's all we know. That's all I know about it. I oh, know, and the docuseries. Yeah, I know a little more, but not much. Mm. Mm. Got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you like the scallops? Do you not like them? I love them. Oh, you do? Mm Mm-hmm. Good. I think they're very delicious. I like scallops. You did a good job on them. Thank you. Mm Mm-hmm. I only cooked them for, like, maybe 30, 40 seconds. No, it was was like 60 seconds. Really? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. (coughs) Huh? Is that okay? Yeah, I was going to say on um, the show. I was yeah. just thinking about the show. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I think on, um, sorry, Hell's Kitchen. You obviously didn't hear what I said, huh? You cooked them for 60 seconds. Yeah. You know you're supposed to cook them way longer than that. No, I was just going to say on the show. Oh. On Hell's Kitchen, I mm-hmm. believe it's like 90 seconds on each side. You're kidding me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. I cooked these for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I think it was like super quick on each I side on the show. flipped them a couple times, obviously. Yeah. But. I'm pretty sure. Well. Thought, the like recipe said 10 minutes. I looked it up. It said 10 minutes. Mm, well, on Hell's Kitchen, it's way shorter than that. I'm Whoa. pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's why I didn't blink an eye. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what it is. Trying to make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you fell into the trap. Yeah. I was gonna say I cooked it for like two minutes, but I was like, nah, that might sound like it's perfect. No, that's what. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's hilarious. Well, I think there's ninety I seconds don't on know. each side. I Maybe know. are you sure it's not ninety seconds each side for like ten minutes? No, <laughs> so you get ten minutes. I'm positive on that one. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know about eating that. <laughs> well, I, could have been talking about, I mean, they don't yeah. even taste like overdone or anything. They don't, well, which one? These or? Oh, no, they know. They, well, this is, I thought this is how they're supposed to taste. <laughs> we know exactly what we're doing. Right? <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. Thank you for making dinner, honey. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Of course. My pleasure. Mm. My pleasure. Yeah. It took a little while. But I'm happy to be, it's done. But, oh, I just wanted to say, back to Ozark. Um, yeah, so so if you guys have, if, first off, have you guys seen Breaking Bad? Because, obviously, Breaking Bad, in my opinion, one of the best TV series shows ever. If not the, I mean, next to, like, Game of Thrones, of course. But, mm-hmm. in my opinion, probably one of the best. But this, Ozark, has the potential to be... Just as good. Mm -hmm. It has the potential to be just as good. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's up there. And I'm not even being biased about it. Like, it's... If you watch it, I think you would agree that it actually has potential. Incredible. Not the... Like, the first two seasons, I was like, yeah, it's Breaking Bad-ish, but it's just Mm -hmm. not on that level. Mm -hmm. But this last season, I actually started putting it up there. Mm -hmm. So, I can't wait to see it. Yeah, you guys gotta check it out. We Mm. got my parents on um, Black Mirror. Oh, yeah. They're watching Black Mirror. They're watching that. They really like it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I feel so happy. <laughs> now you're full because mm-hmm. you were starving. I was hangry. <laughs> you guys, this is basically I our know. first meal. Yeah. And it's seven thirty. Yeah. That's not okay. What was our first meal? It was our first meal. Because we didn't. I had a bite of uh, lunch meat. Oh no! But that was I had a. Meal. It was like a bite. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. I was asking. Oh, I'm about to have that afterwards. But was it good? <sighs> So good. Was it? Yeah. So you guys, obviously, on being doing low carb, um, you have to be cautious as far as the stuff that you can eat sweet wise. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have this and carb. Yeah, carb wise, mm-hmm. of course. Um, so we have a low carb jam, mm-hmm. and of course, low carb bread, and then peanut butter. You could just have that. And I made a sandwich out of it. It was incredible. Was it incredible? And I had some almond milk with it. Oh. Was incredible. I love when you say things are incredible because you're so believable. <laughs> you are. I'm like, how incredible. <laughs> like, really Yeah, incredible. you're like really good at that. <laughs> well, it was. Was it really? Did you toast the bread? Mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. Do you want one? 
Uh, the way you talk about it, I do. You should have one. That sounds amazing. That's really good. I'll do like a half of one. I had it one other time. But the, here's the thing. Like, when you're making PB&J sandwiches, mm-hmm. you have to get the balance right. Yeah. Do you know that? Like, you have to have the balance right. Like, For sure. You don't want to put too much peanut butter on there. Mm-hmm. It's okay. In my opinion, it's okay to put too much jam. Mm-hmm. Cuz I love jam. Yeah. But you can't put like too much peanut butter and not enough jam. You need the right ratio. You need the right ratio. It's exactly. True. It's true. Um but and in this particular brand for the jam that we have, you have to put extra on. Yeah, that's In order to true. taste it. Mm-hmm. So I put a lot on. It, yeah. And it was really good. So anyways, guys, uh, we are chilling in the house like everyone uh, else. I luckily Yeah. We're bored, but we're also not bored, bored. Yeah. Because we've been working on... We get so many people writing us every day, which is awesome. That mm-hmm. keeps us occupied. So, guys, keep writing us. <laughs> we love it. Mm-hmm. We love it. Keep writing. We do. We appreciate it, you know? Gives us something to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so that's been a little challenging, but everyone's facing that, you know, and, and we're, you know, we're, you know, we're fortunate. Obviously, there's someone out there that is, you know, it's really a tough time. There's so many people. Mm-hmm. So I get that, you know, I definitely get that. Totally. Yeah. Um, but I do think that this whole lockdown thing prepped us, like we were prepped earlier because we had spent so much time working on our channel, mm-hmm. um, doing videos, writing people back, that... We're still just doing that, but yeah. we're a little more bored because mm-hmm. we can't see the mo- go to movies and the movies. The yeah, that's what kind of killed us is the theater. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you know, oh, I miss the movie theater. I know, I do because we love movie theaters. We do. And you guys, I don't know what's gonna happen to movie theaters mm-hmm. after this. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, maybe they'll be up and running and everything will be fine again, but I don't know. I think they're gonna take a big hit. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they're gonna recover. Mm-hmm. The movie yeah. industry, they just put stuff on Amazon. It's easy. Right. You know? Yeah. Or That's Comcast, true. too. We don't need movies. You don't need either. movies. Yeah. But. But we love them. Mm-hmm. I do. Go for the experience. The theater I mean. themselves. We love going to the theater. Mm-hmm. So that that kind of sucks. But I think they'll, I think they'll, you know what will probably happen? Mm-hmm. And this is a guess, you guys. And if this actually happens, I quoted it first. I think what's going to happen to theaters is they're going to, because a lot of studios, <clears throat> when it comes to putting movies out, like new movies and stuff, mm-hmm. because I think they're going to see, like, well, a lot of people bought the movies on Amazon, so mm-hmm. why should we put it in theaters? Uh-huh. I think what's going to happen is, in the movie theaters, they're going to have to, like, team up with, like, Netflix and Amazon, and they're going to have to probably start... Doing things like that, doing like mm-hmm. movies straight, from, you know, from Amazon. That makes sense. Uh, you know, yep. like they did with the Irishman, where it'll yeah. go in theaters yep. for like two, three, four weeks, yep. and then it'll go on Netflix or Amazon. Or movie, yeah, or movies that don't even, yeah, mm-hmm. go out into the theater and just go straight to um, Netflix. Mm-hmm. That happens a lot, or Amazon. You know? Exactly, for exactly. Sure. So. Yeah, something's gonna change. It's Agreed. not gonna be the same. I don't think. Uh uh-uh. And another industry, guys. Cruise uh, cruise boats industry, they are messed up. I don't know mm-hmm. if they can come back. Honestly, did you hear about the cruises, the yeah. cruise ships outside of Florida? Oh yeah, there's two Holland American cruises outside of Florida that have been uh, floating on the water for days, looking for ports to go into. Countries mm-hmm. have denied them because four people have died on the ship with. You know, the, with it, yeah. with the thing. We can't say it. With the illness, we can't say it. We get too monetized. monetized. <laughs> with the thing. Um, yeah. And so I just feel so bad for, yeah. obviously, everybody passed away, their families, the people on the ship, they're they're scared. Yeah. A lot of people are still sick on the ship. Yeah. That haven't passed away yet, but they're sick, yeah. you know, with pneumonia. And then they have to stay in their cabins all day. Yeah, with pneumonia, terrible. they can't get airlifted out. Like it just, it's like, oh, yeah, it's that terrible. is a nightmare. I mean, that's a nightmare is even an understatement. That's the crazy. That's thing, scary. Right? Like that makes me not want to go on a cruise again. And I yeah. love cruises, mm-hmm. but that type of a situation where they won't airlift you out to go to a hospital to get proper yeah. treatment seems absolutely unethical. Yeah, exactly. And people are still sick with pneumonia. It's just like all bad. Yeah. And I know for cruises, like a lot of elderly people go on cruises, mm-hmm. you know? So that's, I mean, that's scary. Mm-hmm. That's so scary. Yeah. 
Um, oh, we're right. We're like, so that's tough, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. our elderly people going to keep going. Yeah. You no, know? I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't either. Yeah, I do think. That's a good point. <clears throat> I think industries that yeah. are going to be hit for sure are mm-hmm. going to be cruise ships and movie theaters. Mm-hmm. I think the hardest. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of small businesses, of course, so many small businesses are going to go under because mm-hmm. of this. But, but definitely... Um, uh, the cruise industry and the movie theaters, they're going to be hit hard. Yeah, cruises, I mean, and, and you know what? Another thing, too, even like flying places. Mm-hmm. I mean, people will still do it once things pick up again because you got to get from one place to another. Mm-hmm. People are still going to fly, but even that, it's going to be hard to get people confident in, in, in getting on airplanes and mm-hmm. traveling and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You got a good daydream going on. I did, yes. <laughs> how can you tell? I was totally thinking uh, about something. Because you're staring off like this? <laughs> That's how I could tell. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, you're always like, why are you staring off? What are you doing? It's like, I'm full. That's why. <laughs> I think that's what it. No, I that's exactly full. it. Well, and like, I think full, I like day tired day. or something, something like that. Ooh. Um... Mm. What were you saying? Or were we... I was oh, talking yeah. about the cruise stuff. Do you want to go on one? No, not right now. Um, I think once all this goes down, mm-hmm. maybe there's vaccines. Like for exactly, there's vaccines. Can, yeah, but it's still scary, right? Because you're like, well, what if something else comes up? You know, I think that's one of the things. Is well, there's always sorry, but no, there's no. always been yeah illnesses on cruises. Yes. Just nothing like life threatening. Yeah. Exactly. Now that there's something life threatening, yeah, it's different. That's exactly right, and and not just well, definitely life threatening mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. But this spreads so fast. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. All right, I will not do that this again. <laughs> I know that's great. Um, there's yeah, I mean, something else. four people have passed away on the cruise ship right now. Yeah, like the cruise ship was only gone for like fourteen days plus yeah. extra because they were trying to find somewhere to to port. It's just like. What? You know, it's just mind boggling what's going on. It is. So yeah. I just feel so bad for everybody. Everybody. Like, yeah. it makes me want to cry. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Woo. What do you think about resorts? Like, going to resorts um, mm-hmm. overseas and stuff like that. Like, Bah-ha- I think. Like, the Bahamas or something? Sure. Yeah. Like, Bahama resorts. I think they're going to, you know, come, you know, resorts might have issues too. You think so? Yeah. Well, it's getting, just with pe- getting people to come back. I think, you know, tra- heck yeah, traveling, I think industry traveling in, general. in general. Like, yeah. If, yeah. if people were, well, for one, I was going to say, because planes, people might start driving more. Yeah. You know, because getting on planes and just, yeah, that, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. right, are people going to want to necessarily stay at a resort with like a lot of people? That's what I'm saying. This is going to change the world, really. Yeah, it, it, it's going it to change the world. It is going to change the world. It will. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll get back to normal at some point, but mm. I don't know. I think it's going to be a new normal. It like, is. Whatever that looks like. Yeah, I mean, I don't know I what's going to happen. we're going to Vegas. Yeah. That's for sure. At some <laughs> that point. That stays the same. <laughs> Vegas is our second, it's our second home, you guys. Yeah. But. Um, but eventually, once it gets situated. But I think, too, um, mm-hmm. you know, I think this is a good time mm-hmm. To build a business online, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, so many people, uh, obviously, I mean, myself too included, like, you know, haven't been able to go into work, Mm -hmm. um, which is extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think, you know, building something online is the way to go, Mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah, I mean, you should do, you've always said that. I've been saying that for For years. years. (laughs) That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I realized this was back in. 2000 well whenever we were in LA LA Mm -hmm. I remember being like you should move your stuff online because online is going to be the the future of Mm -hmm. like just everything you know Mm -hmm. and I remember talking about it and I didn't take my own advice Mm -hmm. (laughs) I started some online stuff but you know obviously the music and things like that I really I really got that going online that's Mm -hmm. why I had so much success Mm -hmm. is because I got that going online but now it's kind of at a point now where it's like, if you really want to have, a, you know, uh, you know, st- you know, stability, I guess mm-hmm. I would say long term, mm-hmm. uh, it's almost like you just have to have like uh, your business online, mm-hmm. uh, especially yeah. after this. Right. I mean, everyone's going to just want to order on Amazon from now on. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I haven't read anything specifically on this, but I should actually take a look. But I guarantee that people had no idea 
companies like Target does delivery, Mm -hmm. Costco does delivery. A lot of people probably had no idea that these stores could even do deliveries. And now they do. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Now they know because you have to stay inside and you got to get the food delivered, you know? Uh, Or don't have to, but the majority of people are doing that. So because of that, what happens when things go back to normal? People are going to be like, well, it's convenient to just, yeah, yeah, to just order online. Why even go in? I could just have it delivered to my doorstep. I think a lot of people were already woke on that yeah. prior to this. Oh, you think a lot of people were? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I guess wasn't, I wasn't. but a lot of people were. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then my, my bad. Actually, or at least, like, a lot. Yeah. I know, like, a lot of my friends were always doing, like, those Target pickups. Oh. Curbside, things like that. Now, I know the curbside thing had been popular for but a while. Groceries but groceries, for sure, are way more popular now. Yeah. Uh, no, I just think that... Um, that getting stuff going online, mm-hmm. I think it's it's going to be the way to go. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, build your presence on LinkedIn if you are somebody who mm. who wants to uh, who has to do like a resume and you're looking for other um, mm-hmm. just looking for another job somewhere mm-hmm. else or something. Get on LinkedIn, get your resume going on there. Yeah. Um, get certificates online, little things. You know, learn how to do whatever you can. You know, because. Mm-hmm. The future is online. The future is online. Mm-hmm. If you if that means building your own business completely, learn businesses like ClickFunnels. Learn that uh, learn how a, fun, a funnel works. Right. Learn how affiliate marketing works, so you can sell things. I mean, there's so many things and ways that you can uh, things that you can learn online. You know. Or if you um, already have a business and you're yeah. able to sell yeah. some of the goods on online as well as mm-hmm. in a store like i you know build up that online presence for selling your goods yeah. that's yeah, yeah. huge because a lot of times huge. you know still businesses especially smaller ones will still only have or you have to go in the store to get it yeah but if you can somehow create an online system platform where people right. can just order things <clears throat> you can ship it um, that would be great because that way if, you know, yeah. something happens, like it's happening now where people can't physically go into a store, yeah. well, you know what? They can still go online. That's why yeah. Target's still doing great. Yeah. You know, all the grocery stores are doing yep. great. Costco, because they're all mm-hmm. delivering to you, you yeah. know? Um, even like Macy's, for example, like a clothing yeah. store. They're probably... There's people who are just ordering online. And you know? they're, they're big anyway, so I'm sure, obviously, they're going to survive one way or another. But because Macy's uh, is one of the fewer companies that mm-hmm. really took everything online, mm-hmm. I mean, they really embraced it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure their their sales haven't dropped at all and probably increased from they're that. Doing well. you know? They're doing well. I mean, obviously, they're going to drop somewhat because of mm-hmm. uh, things. But, but yeah, just embracing if you online. If yeah, you if you can. Something, you can sell yeah. it online, do it. Or if you want yeah. to start a business... Go online, do it. Start a YouTube channel. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has an expertise, yeah. something yeah. they know, something they do, something they can teach others. Exactly. Start a channel. It yeah. takes time, but you'll get there. That's right. And and just to add to that, I, I don't want to go too crazy because because I you know once again you guys marketing actually is one of the things that I've done for other business. I've done a little bit of marketing mm-hmm. and stuff, but I, I do suggest like um, uh, if you are going to do like online stuff. Don't just look at YouTube. YouTube is good and they're very, very good. But keep in mind, like things like TikTok, it's starting to blow up, right? Get on TikTok early, you know, build build your presence mm-hmm. there if you have something that works for that platform. I mean, clearly, if you're starting a business where you're uh, a builder, you're building wooden cabinets or something like that, TikTok might not work for you, <laughs> you know? Um, but there's other things that you can do. You can build a website. You can build blogs. You know, uh, there's so many things you can do. So, so I just recommend like, hey, during this time, if you are able to, and I mean, I know so many people are at home and just don't have um, the ability to do anything. You know, more than you know, be with the family and things like that. Um, but if you do have time, put that time in to actually building something you know whether it's even if you're just trying to make a side income Mm -hmm. you know do some research i mean there's so much info on maybe you knit for a hobby yeah maybe you sew maybe you um i don't know create some type of craft start some crafts Mm -hmm. try to sell a little bit of that you know i remember listening to this podcast where they were talking about a guy who was making like uh i want to say tens of thousands of dollars a month i think it was like around like 50 or something thousand dollars a month and all he did was write about chicken coops and discuss chicken coops and and i think he even did like affiliate marketing where he would sell uh other companies chicken coops and things like that but that's all he did chicken Um, coops yeah chicken coops. (laughs) now now i know you know he had been doing it for years 
Interesting. Years and years. Like, I think, I want to say it was like three or four years or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, I, I mean, that's that's... That's good money long term. It's a perfect term. example that it doesn't matter what it is, yeah. as long as it's something, and if you're persistent on it, yeah. your business can take off at any yeah, point. You it know? sure can. And online's good because sure you're not going to have a, you know a ton of overhead. I mean, you're that's right. Yeah. In your home, I mean, obviously, that's if you're going to be delivering things, like, but you just have to yeah. factor that in in the shipping costs and. Obviously, the supplies yeah. to pack whatever you're doing in there. But anyways, exactly. you figure it out. It's still you don't have to, you know, rent an, a space, a you know, yeah. factory, an office space, or anything like that. You can yeah. do it from home. So exactly, yeah. And it's write offs. Yes, you have your own business. That's a good point. So that's, that's a good another point. factor. Yeah, and um, hmm. sorry about that. Yeah, and 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 yeah, I think that's one of the things I wanted to mention too, if you don't mind. I'm sorry, I know you're tired. <laughs> Shark Tank, um, I love Shark Tank, and we watch a lot of that. Um, but the thing is with Shark Tank is they, because they're all about like products and investing in products mm-hmm. and stuff, they really miss um, a lot of of really interesting things that you can sell online mm-hmm. that aren't products, right? Services you can sell, you can do um, digital products, you know, information products, things like that. <clears throat> My point is with Shark Tank. They kind of set it up in a way where it's like, if you're an entrepreneur, you got to have a product to sell. But the truth is, a lot of companies that have products and things like that don't make it long term. <clears throat> you can do it, but you have to, You it's so much more marketing and research. You have to know demand. You have to understand your audience. There's so many different things. Um, so anyway, sorry, that's just a side so note. So you're saying something. it doesn't have to be a good you can be selling just information. You can sell information, exactly. But it doesn't need to be something that yeah. you necessarily need to ship to somebody. Exactly, exactly. In like a video course. Video courses are Giving people are big. education about something. Yeah. Uh, right? Exactly. If you have a specialty, something you do, like Kristen said, if you're, you are specialized in niching, well, there's somebody out there that niching? needs that. Niching. Knitting? In knitting, yeah. yes. <laughs> there's people out there that need it you know, and want to do it. You yeah, know? Especially a step-by-step now. guide, people how to knit a sweater, time. how to knit a scarf, how to yep. da, da, da. Exactly. So you can just give people information. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, there's and there's so many resources online to mm-hmm. learn it, you know. Um, like I said, if you understanding like the way a funnel works mm-hmm. online, a system, a funnel where, you know, I, I can't go into detail on that. That'll be too much. But but understand what they are. Um, and I mean, you can build a business. It'll you know. I do want to say this though. If 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 you are someone listening to this and actually considering doing this, um, I, I I can't speak for every single business out there. But from everyone I've spoken to, for all of the stuff that I've tried to put out online and things like that, what I've learned is to get the very like just the bare minimum, and this is goes for anything that you do, the bare minimum of the just the start of something. It takes like three to six months. Doesn't mean you're gonna get rich, <laughs> you know whatever it is. Uh, and of course, it depends on how much money you put into the the business it, itself. But if you're starting from scratch, three to six months to just get the ball rolling, mm-hmm. and then from there you're looking at one to three years if if by three years if you're a millionaire you have you're killing it <laughs> you're like, like yeah, taking over the world of course from one to three well, if you're years. a millionaire in general but yes, yeah yeah three you, years for sure well yeah exactly i mean sure most businesses i think at that three-year mark mm-hmm. are are most businesses are still under the three million mm-hmm. but if they've survived that long they have a little bit of a system you know mm-hmm. where they're surviving mm-hmm. but there's companies um one of my good friends who i work with you know the guy has a seven figure business uh, now and he started literally like three years ago. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he's really smart though, <laughs> and he's really taking it to the next level. You know, <clears throat> um, he's doing great. Oh, he's doing phenomenal. It's it's crazy how far he's gone. That's so great, and he deserves it too. He's one of those guys that are really deserve it. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, but um, but you're looking at three to five years, mm-hmm. like to really like it, it. Like, don't let anyone tell you like, oh, I got a quick. You know, I see online. Do you see those things? Like yeah. people are like, Clicks, yeah, yeah sign quick. up if you want to make money today. Make money in a month, 30 days. No, you guys, Mm-mm. do not. Like if you Mm-mm. see anyone posting on Facebook saying, get money today, uh, just, you know, message me or something like that. I mean, do they have a way of you making 10 bucks or 50 bucks or something? 
Maybe, but if it, I'm talking about long term money, consistent in a business and a system that works, nah. Three to five years, you can bet on that. <laughs> That's what you can bet on for anything that goes, including YouTube, YouTube as well. I want to give an example for Sorry. Be Love. Uh, she oh yeah. was, you know, she quit her job after three months of just being on yeah. YouTube, yeah. which is insane. But I think insane. her first paycheck after three months or something was like three thousand dollars. Yeah. That's right. Oh, great. That's awesome, right? Yeah. That's $3,000. But she's been doing this now three years. Yeah. And it's, it's getting millions. So yeah, that took right. her a, a year to get a, to be a millionaire. But now, right. three years, she's multi-million, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's a perfect example of somebody who went super fast. Yeah, yeah. And still, in three months, was only making three... And I say only relatively. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. in three months, she was only making like $3,000 a month. That's right. In a year, she had made a million, and now in three years, it's multi. So, that's and right. that's a fast climb. Exactly. So, yeah. 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 I do have to say that. That's actually a big thing because uh, <coughs> if, if anyone is out there starting a YouTube channel, something that, uh, or Excuse even me. just an online presence in general, um, like there's certain people. Uh, definitely be love is one of them where <laughs> she came along at the right time with the right personality mm -hmm. with the right type of foods everything was right yep. right and because of that she was able to grow super fast mm -hmm. you know um, obviously she was on a trend where no one was really doing it in America mm -hmm. so that helped and then you have her amazing personality and her you know her, her uh, on TV presence or on recording presence whatever you call it YouTube presence uh, which everything worked out and she climbed really fast mm -hmm. but let me tell you that is abnormal and when I say abnormal I'm talking about one in a million or one in a billion mm -hmm. I mean it's really slim for you to take off like especially now Good luck. It's gonna, you know, you definitely have to get lucky essentially to take off like that. Uh, so yep. I would say, yeah, the the biggest thing to do is just tell yourself, okay, this is, this is gonna long. be a long drive. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a long road, yep. you know. And uh, and and if something happens and it takes off overnight, great, run with it. But chances are it won't, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what you have to do. Like you, know? you said, one to three years. One to three. Before you're making yeah. a decent amount. You're making, <laughs> you're making, you should be, if you are somebody who really What's hustling? knows what they're doing and hustling, uh, anywhere from a year to two years, you should be in pretty good shape. I'm not talking about rich, not rich, <laughs> but in, in good shape. At the three year mark, if you are, you know, you should be in a good spot at three years. You should be in a good spot. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I'm not saying stop because if you've been doing something for three years and you're still not there, that's still not abnormal. There's people that at 10 years mm -hmm. become that that multi million dollar company mm -hmm. and then later they make billions. I mean, there's plenty of stories like that. Multiple you know? YouTube channels that have been yeah. out since 2010 and then yeah. very recently. They they blew That's up right. and now they're making <clears throat> millions of dollars. That's right. That's but they right. were grinding for seven, eight, nine years before they started making money. Yeah, Mr. Beast, that guy. If you guys know Beast Mr. Phone? Beast, Beast Mode. No, it's Mr. Beast. Oh, it's is a different that, guy. Yeah, oh. it's a completely different. Mr. Beast is a YouTuber. I think right now he like he always like gives people money to like do crazy. You know, oh, to do, I've yeah, seen that you know guy. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for four years, he'd been putting out YouTube videos almost every day. I think. And he had like, at the end of four years, he had like 90,000. Yeah, it wasn't a lot at all. It wasn't like 90,000. And then literally in like a few months, he skyrocketed to millions. Yeah, millions. millions. of people. So that's just how it works. Mm -hmm. That's how it works, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so true. anyways, we can go on all day with it. But yeah. I just wanted to say that because I think it's important to really keep that in mind that at this time right now, when things are struggling, mm -hmm. uh, it's not over, you know, life is going to go on. Um, this situation might have put you in a really, really horrible spot. Um, but, but understand that, you know, we're going to get out of this. Mm -hmm. This is, this is something that we're going to get out of. Um, it's just a matter of big staying, keeping positive essentially and just keep moving forward. But with that said, while you're inside, if you do have time, consider doing some research, think about a business online, get it going. Cause by the way, businesses online, are, are excelling. I don't know if I said that. They are actually excelling. Mm -hmm. Companies are excelling. Uh, my friend, who, like I said, is seven figure, when this whole thing started going down, he started excelling. His business started excelling. And the reason is because he already had the foundation online to get to that point. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, it's smart. <laughs> it's really smart. Safe to say. Smart. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
Yeah, I hope, I hope you guys like that. Enjoy yeah. it. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't want anyone getting mad at me for any reason. You know? Why would they get I mad? I don't know. Like, just drop a knowledge or give us suggestions. True. That's a good Nobody point. has to do anything they don't want to That's do. That's true. If you want to chill. It's your opinion and, that yeah. online's the way to go. That's exactly And, and right. again, only if you can. Yeah. And obviously not every single yeah. person in this world can is going to go online and have it for their own business. And that's, that's fine. Sure. And it's not for everybody. Yeah. Uh, but if you have that drive, have the hustle, have the curiosity at least. Yeah, Definitely exactly. willing to go for it, you know? I didn't never thought I would be an online person at all. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Like when I was in grad school, getting my degree, yeah. I thought I was just going to have an office, have clients, yeah. you know, do my thing, right? And remember, I remember, I was talking I about that. For my years. private practice, yeah. That was it. And then, you know, yeah. we started talking about online around yeah. 2013, 2014. I was like, yeah, it like kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then I've been shifting to that. And, yeah. you know, it's I'm still haven't mm-hmm. taken off by any means, but yeah. it's getting there. It's getting there. And it's there. a work in progress. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think what we've mm-hmm. gotten. Um, the be- the best thing that we've learned over these mm-hmm. last few years of doing this is that it's not if this will take off, it's when. Yep. You know, and that's the biggest that. thing. It's yeah. it, now you believe it exactly because mm-hmm. it's it's mm-hmm. once you understand that oh this isn't and okay if this works out and if that mm-hmm. works out then maybe I'll have a chance. It's not that. Mm-hmm. It's it's when you you know if you do this every single day you gotta keep going you keep going every day if you're able to do that it's a win you it's won't a, it's a yeah it's, it's a win is this gonna take off mm-hmm. it's like that dude Mr. Beast right mm-hmm. four years of posting videos so many people would have quit they would have been like year one like this doesn't work <laughs> yep. let alone year, year three they would have been this like this work. definitely doesn't work yep but so, year four it year happened four, and it just happened so you gotta have that type of attitude yeah you know, and that's what people about say too. about YouTube channels like it just yeah. one day it will exactly. take off it will so and that's what we hope about ours we can that's already right. see that on our Facebook page page yeah yeah it's you know it's happening for it us is. and we're just gonna keep going we've been only at it for seven months seven months so far yeah that's right which is great you know so where are we gonna be at in another seven months you yeah know? exactly that's how that's we're looking exciting. at it you know yeah. so i would just say one last thing um if you do have any questions you know if you are like oh i'm interested in kind of learning more mm-hmm. uh message me I, I love you know i love talking about this stuff yeah. so <laughs> so i can give tips all day if you have any uh um questions or something like that on marketing questions or things like that just reach out to me or if you just want to just talk about anything you know feel free to reach out on facebook probably is the best way on messenger or you can email us to kristen and jamil at Mm gmail.com so you can find it i think it's in the description right yes it is yes we do we have right now in the description all right you guys we're wrapping this up thank you guys so much for hanging on we hope you enjoyed (laughs) this meal with us uh, because we definitely enjoyed it yeah Yeah, it was good good. it was good So we will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Um, So once again, like we always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring, you guys. Uh, Please let everyone know what the K and J fam are doing these days. Uh, Spam it up. Spam it up. (laughs) Spam up emails. (laughs) Share the email. (laughs) Share it on emails. No, 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 obviously don't do that. Uh, but, um, but share. But share. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. All right, you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Love you. We'll see you next time. We love you so much. Mm-hmm. Peace. Peace out, Trouts.